could die tonight, or I touch wood, or you know, I shouldn't even say things like that, but <laughs> it is what it is, but um, you just not, try not to think about it. It does bring back memories, doing all this. Not good ones. <laughs> not this bit. <laughs> this is the worst bit about riding bikes. Yeah, you know, I think in the next 10 years, I, you know, I want Bellevue to be the, the best speedway club in Britain. Very, very, very simple sport to be honest. There's, there's no brakes. Um, 500cc engine uh, ran on methanol. You only have to turn left, so there's, there's only the one real footrest on the left, on the right hand side, which you push on. And uh, I think that's what uh, allows us to keep it racing so original and raw. When you're doing 70 mile of it now with no brakes, it's, uh, it's pretty scary. So, yeah, to keep your mind on the job. Term plan, but that you know could have gone you know belly up. You know, obviously what happened last year. So I, I kind of pretty much thought I was done as a team manager, and uh, was, I went back to Australia thinking um, my time in Speedway was was over. Uh, and now obviously we've got some new owners at Bellevue, and uh, you know, the the future's looking pretty good. So you know you've got to adjust. Uh, you know, and I, I kind of like, I, I don't know how long I'm going to be here um, as, as, as such, but you know, I think in the next 10 years, I, you know, I want Bellevue to be the, the best speedway club in Britain. So that means winning championships. So it's not going to be easy, but that's, that's my goal. I won the league with Bellevue. That was a buzz, that was good, that. So we won it in the Wolverhampton, the last race, in the last meeting of the season. But the new Bellevue looks fantastic, I won't mind uh, having a go around there myself. From heart and break, what you will. Yeah, coming into that night, we, I, I said to the boys, we've got nothing to lose, they're expected to win now. Let's just go out there and, and kill it, you know, just, just, just smash it. I mean, obviously, everyone wants to win. Uh, I think, uh, you know, obviously, in the, the domestic role here at Bellevue, you know, to win the, uh, the, the league, the, the Premiership League, you know, we've come so close you know, the first two seasons I've been a domestic manager. Um, you know, winning just doesn't mean you're successful. I think it's how you go about your, your business and how how happy you are inside. You know, I think that you know being happy in life and healthy. I mean, that's a big success in itself. But as far as professional sportsman side, you know, oh, well, you, know you can't look anywhere otherwere else than just say winning. But I think uh, keeping your morals intact and being able to achieve goals is. is Right up there. The season's uh, extremely good. I um, lost uh, a little bit of weight over the, in the off season and uh, been working on my fitness. Uh, only a couple of bacon egg sandwiches now and again. So uh, yeah, I feel healthier myself, and I think it's it's showing in my ride. I am I am physically fit, uh, and I think men mentally I am I am fit. But um, you know, 2013 I had a great season, and I felt like I had nothing to lose all season. Now people expect things of me, you know, so that's, you know, people, uh, it, it is mentally draining and you're expected expected to go out there and do it and you know you're expected to go out and do it. I didn't want boat to ride bikes at all, I tried to steer him away from it. And he, to be honest, he was never really interested in them until 12 months ago. Uh, I tried to talk him out of it, spent months trying to talk him out of it, but he was having none of it. I've told him he's not to do it the way I did it. 
they're all super fit these days. They're all athletes, the riders. Not like in my day. Ah, it's, it's very important. It's 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 where that's a heartbeat of the club. If you've got a good team spirit, you, you know, it, it, everything uh, revolves around it, and the vibe is good. It sort of gets everyone upbeat, and uh, it's it's pretty important. There's there's a few techniques that I, I use, and um, I can't disclose them, but um, yeah, it's just basically just making sure you you get people on the on side and, and sort of you know up for it. Fun time, yeah. It's uh, it's very important because um, you know obviously the fans pay our wages and they come to watch us. So it's uh, you know it's very valuable to interact with the fans. At Bellevue, we've got the perfect opportunity to do that in the bar and uh, you know after the race and Bellevue run like the press conference. So um, you know it's it's great for the uh, for the fans to interact with us and. Um, you know, because the racing is only one part of Speedway. Our first game when I was about 11 and a half, and I've had breaks, I've been coming ever since, I enjoy it. I like it, I enjoy it. It can be exciting. This new track is very good quality racing, so. Well, my mother brought me when I was a tiny tot. And then when I got to 16, I started coming properly. And I've come ever since, for 72 years. And it's friendship. Great friends, you make friends at Speedway, you're friends for life. You can make a good living from Speedway, but uh, it is danger money and Speedway is very dangerous. And, you know, it's Speedway is not just a game, it's not fun. It, it is a full-time a full job. Um, if you want to do it and if you want to ride Speedway, you have to be dedicated, fully committed. I mean, I've obviously grown up with Speedway, so I've kind of been, it's kind of in my blood, so obviously I, I know what, what's going on. But luckily, really, there's not been any major crashes that we've had to deal with. I mean, there's one in Poland a couple of years ago where unfortunately a rider died, but that was the last one really to remember, other than the young Polish lad who died last year. I mean, Speedway's luckily a good sport that even though the, the riders are risking their lives, I mean, there isn't any major fatalities and it tends to be one every couple of years, really, which I mean, Obviously, we're grateful for. You know, I can always remember this feeling like having a, a bad crash, or when you're having a crash, you get up and I always have deja vu. Uh, and I always think, oh, this has happened before, this has happened before. But you've just, you frighten yourself that much that, uh, I don't know, you just get deja vu. Um, but yeah, when you know you're going to have a big crash, it's, it's pretty frightening. Uh, all my friends got, you know, my logo is CC111 and they've just started calling me CC222 which is uh, quite fitting but um, yeah, I'd, you know, I'd love to go one better and, uh, and make it to the top. <laughs> I much prefer being a rider. It was so much easier to put your helmet on there and go out by yourself and do your own thing but uh, as a manager you're looking after like seven individual riders. No, it flattens my voice It makes me feel higher Yeah, I'm feeling very confident and, uh, and strong on the bike Hopefully um, my scores continue like they have been and um, you know, I have a good whole season throughout and uh, achieve, achieve my goals You're my control
Her thoughts they transpire You're shooting me